I care deeply about what happens in black communities. And I'm particularly invested in what happens to black women and girls because we have so few advocates. Often the perpetrators of violence against black women and girls are black people. To say that is not to endorse the racist narrative of black on black crime. Because we know that crime is about proximity and there are so many social forces that contribute to the prevalence of it. However, when it comes to intimate partner violence and sexual assault, it is imperative that we say, let's fix these institutions that shape the disproportionately volatile lives of black folks while working to deprogram people who've come to see sexist violence and domination as normal. Now, if you're a black woman who says this, someone will always respond with, well, what about white male abuser X, Y, or Z? What does that have to do with me? We agree, white folks need to get themselves together. There's no reason for Mel Gibson to still have a career, no reason for Woody Allen to be getting tributes, and no reason for Casey Affleck to have an Oscar. That's white folks work. I'll tell you right now, I don't care. I care that black women in the United States make up 13% of the female population, but almost half of the female homicide victims. I care that more than half of those homicide victims are women who are killed by current or former romantic partners. I care that according to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, black women are going to experience domestic violence at rates about 35% higher than white women. Those are my pressing concerns. It's mind boggling to me that when we want to center black people in a conversation, other black folks chime in to center whiteness. If you're pro-black, why dismiss black folks when we want to rise up against the people who are harming the most vulnerable in our communities? By virtue of living in a white supremacist society, most black folks should know that a lot of white folks grasp on morality is tenuous at best. I mean, really, are y'all suggesting that we follow the enslavers and the colonizers? Are we supposed to take our cues from the cultural appropriators? I don't think so. The what about white folks defense signals to me that a lot of black folks are not actually invested in justice. They just wanna be able to rape and abuse with impunity like white men do. But we can do better. There is a tendency, even amongst black folks, to equate whiteness with freedom. But whiteness isn't neutral or aspirational. Whiteness as an identity and ideology and a system of inequity offers its possessors many spoils. But white folks aren't free. They're invested in a social project that compels a blind fidelity to its reproduction by any means necessary, including violent patriarchy. That is how we get poor white folks voting for Donald Trump and his xenophobia. We are really selling ourselves short if our liberation dreams end where whiteness begins. Cornell West says, Often, justice is what love looks like in public. You cannot keep claiming to love and care for black women while continuing to protect those who abuse and kill us. Stop it. Well, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a tip. Thank you.